At first, I've, I've been in sales for a number of years. And being in sales, either your numbers are good or your numbers are bad. When they're good, they keep you working. When they're bad, then they say, okay, we don't need you anymore. Lincoln Tech provide me the ability of holding on to something as far as working with my hands. Because the way I look at it, you can't take my hands away. So no matter you know, what I sell, what I don't sell, if I can install it, you still need me. So that was my main reason. I needed to come out of the gates running. Um, having a lot of other people around, my thought process was, what am I going to do to make me stand out compared to all my other classmates? So my mindset was like, all right, I need to get in here, get running, so I can have a higher score, better score, so at least when someone looks at me, they're like, you know, I wanna pick you. You really never know what you're gonna do, right? One thing about Lincoln Tech, it gave me, it gave me so many different avenues. Um, CCTV, card access, nurse call intrusion. So when you get here, I would say the first couple of weeks, the so first couple of months, just sort of sit back. Sort of don't sit back and not do anything, sit back and be front center. Um, because by the end of the program, I could have either went to work for a, a company to uh, repair lottery machines, um, install um, turbines, things of this nature. So, but I chose fire because I figured this is something that everyone's going to need. I also could have went through security as well because of the information that I learned. So I would just say, just start looking at what you want to do. My expectation of coming out of Lincoln Tech was just to be a hard worker. Um, I realized that I'm starting at the bottom of a totem pole and I need, to do, I need to do whatever I can to gain as much knowledge as I can to get on top. Um, compare that to now. Um, I started out as a installer um, for uh, Simplex Grinnell, now Johnson Controls, and I've worked my way up to the service manager for the Chicago Rockford area. Um, so it, it has allowed me to just, you know, strive and even still I'm looking at what is my next steps, right? Um, being a service manager, what is my next steps? Is it regional? It, where, where's my next step? And that's, some of the, that's one of the things that I always tell a, a, a technician or even someone, think about in five years, what are you gonna do? What is your next step in five years? Um, when I come back here, I have conversations with different uh, students and students that are, this is their first day or students that's about to uh, graduate. And it, it has allowed me to humble myself. You know, I love to be able to come back here and just have conversations with students because again, I was that one student to where I remember having um, one of the teachers or one of the managers who's actually now the company that I work for. So just seeing him and then now, I'm actually a point to where now I'm his manager. So it's, it's sort of like, you know, it's, it's sort of, it's coming full swing, you know, and it's, it's uh, very humbling. The reason why I would recommend Lincoln Tech is because it's going to provide you with something quicker than going to a four-year university, to be honest with you. I've done the four-year university, and it's, it's one of those processes to where you're going to get real-world information to get out there and get moving, make money, build your career, build, just build your influences. So to me, even though I have kids and we teach them about going to a four-year, you know, my daughter's been accepted to a couple of universities, um, but she understands that, hey, if that doesn't work, there's definitely different avenues.